Something exciting to happen on Fastlane. It was the main event. It was a one-on-one match. It was the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship in tonight's main event of Fastlane. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a really good match. Obviously, Shinsuke is going after Seth Rollins back majority of the time in this match. Try to beat him down with steel chairs, put him through tables, all that stuff. Making sure that he tries to get the count of 10 a lot of times. Like at one point, uh, Shinsuke lays Seth on the on the table and then he pretty much jumps off the top turnbuckle or whatever with a double knee to the chest onto Seth Rollins through a table. But then eventually Seth Rollins got back up and everything. Uh, at one point, uh, they was both on top of a ladder. Uh, and Shinsuke and Seth was just brawling on the top of the ladder, and Shinsuke spits red and mist into Seth Rollins' face, which knocked him off the ladder through the announce table laying him out, and Seth eventually got back up before the count of 10. So yeah, Seth Rollins just going through this match the whole time. They get back into the ring, and then we see Shinsuke Nakamura hit a King Chasa onto Seth Rollins through a table that was set up in the corner, the referee starts counting, uh, and then eventually, when the referee was close to the count of 10, he got up to the count of 9. Seth Rollins managed to roll out the ring and then land on both of his feet, which obviously breaks up the count. And, you know, Shinsuke and Seth is just brawling and everything, going through the crowd and all that stuff. But then eventually, they get onto this platform, and then we see Seth Rollins hit Falcon's arrow onto Shinsuke Nakamura off the platform through a table. Referee starts counting, and yeah, he just kept on counting and counting and counting all the way up until he got to the count of 10. And yeah, uh, Seth Rollins defeated Shinsuke Nakamura in the last man standing match, and he has retained the World Heavyweight Championship. That's what happened. Great match. I really liked it. It was a good match. It sucks that Damian Priest did not cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase because you would have been thinking that he definitely would have cashed in the briefcase tonight on Seth, definitely after Seth is like, you know, injured and all that stuff, but yeah, uh, that did not happen, uh, Damian Price is definitely holding on to the Money in the Bank briefcase, but Seth Rollins did walk out as World Heavyweight Champion, it's like said, Shinsuke Nakamura is not World Champion, but you know, uh, what can you do, hopefully eventually he will become World Champion, but we'll see, you know, but yeah, uh, Seth Rollins defeated Shinsuke Nakamura tonight in the last man standing match, and Rollins retains the title. But yeah, uh, I'll give that match four stars. That's why I'll give it. I'll say that was match of the night right there for me. It was the main event. That match was pretty good. So yeah, I liked it. Uh, but yeah, tonight's fast lane. It was a pretty good show for the most part. It was like a B show and all that stuff. But still, really good show. If you have it, yeah, go check it out. Go check all of it out. But yeah, if you want to just check out a few matches, I'll say definitely check out the tag team title match with uh, the Judgment Day and versus Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso, and the last man standing match with Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. But every single match has some um, things going on, which was pretty good, like the women's triple threat tag team, uh, the triple threat title match and stuff, which was a really good one as well. Uh, obviously, even though this match was really short and all that stuff, LWO versus uh, the Street Profits of Bobby Lashley, at least he got Corey Lito returning him, which was pretty big. And then, you know, always wanting to see a John Cena match, you know, which is up here. But yeah, uh, that was fascinating. It only had like five matches and all that stuff on the card. But still, really good show. I liked it. Uh, for tonight's Fastlane pay per view, I will get premium live event. I will give it eight and a half stars as well give it. it was a pretty good show i liked it but yeah that was uh fast light but yeah uh the next show will be crown jewel in november and we'll definitely be talking about that as well but yeah uh this week is a pretty big week raw on monday which i'll definitely be talking about nxt and ew dynamite i'll talk about both the both of those shows on tuesday so yeah look out for that and then friday night smackdown which is going to be a pretty big smackdown season premiere with roman reigns returning and all that stuff this friday definitely be talking about that as well but yeah uh be talking about all those shows this week definitely look out for all that and yeah that has been my wwe fast lane 2023 reviews like subscribe subscribe to team w wrestling on youtube subscribe to my other channel word of chris and subscribe to this channel chris players and follow me on twitter instagram and both of my tiktoks 
I'll be down there in the description box, and I'll see you guys later. Until then.